So Craig, how big's your farm here um, in Gimmerburn? About 2,000 hectares, just under roughly. Yeah. yeah. How many ewes? Uh, we're running 5,500 ewes. And hoggets? Uh, 1,700 replacement hoggets, merinos and half-breds. Okay. And the advantage of having both merino and uh, you've got both covers. You've got wool covered and you've got fat lambs meat covered, so it it's pretty, works pretty well for us. Fantastic. How long have you been farming here? It's probably, I don't know, 60 years in the family, every wow. rough guess. Fantastic. So far, yeah. You would have seen some good changes. Yeah, no, things have time. certainly changed. Yeah, <laughs> granddad's still around kicking stones, stealing. Yeah, yeah, things have changed. So, as far as animal health is concerned, what challenges do you guys face out here? Well, this is probably pretty good, sweet country. Talk to any of the old fellas, they give always the best place for growing stuff, and we just we tend Pyramide does, does a pretty good job for us. We just drench our lambs and replacement lambs. We don't do any use with it, just all our lambs and get a pretty good result with it. Yeah, and added selenium as a bonus? Yeah, no, it's always a bonus getting that in there. They always need extra wee bits. Yeah, and a triple combination drench works best for you? Yeah, I think it does. We don't seem to have any drench resistance yet with it, so it seems to work pretty well, and yeah. I just find it easy to use in those, those low dose drenches. Yeah. A bit more accurate, they can spit a wee bit of that low dose out and they've lost half it already, so yeah. it's pretty economical using this too. How do you find the technical advice that PGG Wrightsons give you? No, no, very good, pretty pretty spot on. You know your stuff pretty well, it's yeah, pretty, very helpful. I don't, re I don't read up much stuff, I just flip through the pages of magazines and that's me done, so I roll on you guys to do it all for me.